Greetings from IMTS 2012 in Chicago. I'm Yesenia Salcedo, Senior Editor of Cutting Tool Engineering and Micro Manufacturing Magazines. I'm here today with John Kulikowski, President of Bloom Laser Measuring Technology, Inc. And uh, John, I'm not sure if a lot of our subscribers are very familiar with your company. Would you like to tell us a little bit about it? Sure, sure. Bloom was founded in 1968 by Gunther Bloom as an engineering firm. And in the late 1980s, Gunther Bloom developed a laser device for tool setting and breakage detection. And it's become the industry standard uh, by which all others are compared. And what kind of products are you introducing at this year's show? This year we're featuring our radio probe line. Uh, it allows us to take advantage of the five axis machining market and uh, has special applications throughout the industry. Do you want to show us some of those products, John? Sure, sure. So, John, these are the products that the company started with? Yeah, that's right. Uh, in the late 80s, Gunther Bloom developed a laser measuring device for tool setting and breakage detection, and it's evolved over the years, and now it's become the industry standard. Basically, we have different types of laser devices, from one-piece units to split systems, and now with the new mill turn machines, we actually have hybrids that use laser technology as well as sensor technology for tool setting on mill turn and turn mill machines. Now, John, Bloom is also known for radio probes. That's correct. We've introduced our new line of radio probes with five-axis machines, uh, the complexity of movement, means that we need radio instead of infrared for spindle probing. So we developed this line of radio probes for spindle probing as well as table tool setting. And uh, these work in conjunction with one of our other products, Form Control. They allow us to do in-process metrology from start to finish. And that's what that monitor is showing right now? That's correct. Our Form Control product allows you to measure even complex geometry automatically. Features collision detection so that there's no possibility of damaging the machine while inspecting the part. We're using this machine to demonstrate the different products applications. In this case, we're measuring a tool for length and radius. The, ten, the tool will then go over and cut the part, and then we'll go over and check it to make sure the tool hasn't broken or worn. Laser can be used for all different types of tools, in this case a step drill, where we're setting multiple offsets. And then after the tool is used, again, we'll check it for breakage. In addition to measuring the tool for length and radius, we can also scan the tool for wear, which is what you're seeing right now. We also have tactile devices, infrared, so that they can be moved around. Even extremely small tools can be set using the laser device. This engraving tool is being set with a tactile setter and used in conjunction with the laser to make sure that the absolute accuracy of the measurement is achieved. In addition, we have hybrid lasers that allow tactile as well as laser setting. We also feature 3D probing software, and our infrared probes work well with it, combining the speed and accuracy of the probe with the ease of use and flexibility of the software. We also feature Shark 360 technology, which allows us to take advantage of not only Z minus, but Z plus or pull probing. Thank you so much, John. I hope that our viewers learned something from the information that you shared with us this morning, and good luck to you at the rest of the show. Thank you very much.